Hello friends. I am really excited about intuitive productivity and I have the perfect setting for getting a lot of you know what done because my partner is away for the next four days and so I made this fun list earlier and these are just the things I would love to do. I would love to do these things. Now, some of these things I have been putting off for years. Some of these things I'm doing right now. Um, this is a lot of yard work, but like basically I would love to do all these things in the next four days. And this is just extra. This is not the homework that I have and all the appointments I have and any of the other gym things I do. So. This would be on top of my already full schedule. I am so delusional that I think I can do it. So I am making this video, beautiful plants, because I'm gonna bring you along because what is more fun than watching someone check off a list? So let's do it together. Let's see what we can do for fun because you know I don't do anything I don't wanna do. That's the thing, there's no pushing here. There's no have to here. These are only gonna get done if I feel like it. And so this is gonna be great. Thanks for coming along with me. If you're excited, give me a like on the video and let's get going. All right, what are we off to next? You will find out before me. First things first, watching otter videos with my cats. <laughs> oh baby, yeah. list update you can see nothing is completely checked off but I did outline a draft on Substack so there's that I am making the video so <laughs> there's that and I really wanted to write but I felt like I was kind of trying too hard like I couldn't access the flow quickly enough and so I asked myself several times like, what do I want to be doing right now? What do I want to be doing? And nothing really came right away. And then my partner called and I talked to him and I played with the cats. And then I realized, oh, there is something I want to do. There's a video that I didn't watch, like from two months ago, about one flower farmer visiting an artist. And that popped into my head. And so that is what we are doing right now. And in the meantime, I had some gluten-free vegan frozen donut holes <laughs> that are actually really, really, really good. So I'm just chilling. Like sometimes you just need a Sunday. And even though I want to do all those things, like there's no forcing here. Like I literally, don't do anything I don't want to do because it doesn't produce what I want, right? I want to be in the flow. I want to feel good. I want to feel alive and expressed. And I want things to come to me that feel like that, you know? So I follow what I want and it works out. And I'm going to go back to my video, but I'll see you soon. Well, it is nice and wet. Um, and cool but we're gonna get after this gardening stuff because I just really want to be outside and um, I've had a lovely morning watching the hummingbird feeder and the beautiful blooms we have right now with the sweet peas they smell so good and I just love this front bed with the lettuces and the cauliflower it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna enjoy my view and plant some sweet alyssum so that I can attract some more beneficial bugs because we are having a really bad aphid year and that will certainly help. So that is what I'm going to do first.
we are done with planting these beautiful, sweet alyssums. They look so good with everything else, but obviously it's not about looks, it's about function. This one doesn't have any flowers left, but it will help protect that lettuce that's coming in. It's gonna be so helpful to just keep all the bad bugs away. So I've dotted them all along this veggie garden here, along with the flowers that you already saw. It's so peaceful. I love that the snapdragons are blooming. Let's go take a closer look. We can't not look at these beautiful flowers. They're so pretty. And there's some sunflowers coming up in here too. We're gonna get rid of these sunflowers. So here I am intuitively going about my to-do list and doing a lot more <laughs> than just my list as well, right? We're weeding. I put up a trellis for some sweet peas that were kind of going rogue. I was weeding in the other space. We just can't help it. Isn't it so cool how you can like see the force that these leaves are coming up with? These are some potatoes here. It's amazing. We have more snapdragons. <sighs> okay. Time for a new area. All right, this is the next project. <laughs> I just need to cut everything back. So my lilacs have just finished blooming. It's time to cut that back. This viburnum's kind of out of control. My berries are in full bloom. They look so good. It is now easy to tell where the fruit is gonna go, but it is wild. So I need to prune out the old canes, like these, that are not going to fruit, and just make this a little tidier, and also keep it so that it's not going into my neighbor's yard. I don't think he likes that. I need to do something with this rose because it fell over. It's massive and it needs to be respected. <laughs> so I gotta figure this out. Even if it's to cut it way back so that I can properly uh, trellis it. I don't know what to do. But we need to be able to see these other lilacs. So I just have a lot to do. I have a lot to do over here and it's gonna take some time, but that's okay because it's worth it. It's worth it to have blackberries so that I can make more blackberry jam, which was so good last year. Okay, let's do it. Okay, well, lilac done. I did take out all of the old canes here so that is better. It's not super wrangled because I'm I'm gonna cut out this sod so that it just has more room. And I didn't get to move the rose because it's kind of fixed in place at this point. I need to like untangle it. So I didn't do that part, but I did um, prune it. And this is looking a lot better. Although this long, branch right here kind of looks out of place now, so I'll snip that too. But an improvement. Oh, and weeding was on my list, so I have been weeding all day, so I'm gonna knock that one off too. So what do we have to cross off? We can cross off weeding. Woohoo. Ooh, we can cross off planting the alyssum. We did that. We can cross off most of this. So I did the side yard berries and I didn't get the rose up. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. Well, it is one o'clock on Monday and I feel like we're off to a great start. So um, this has been fun. And I'm going to keep going about my day. I do have a client later, so we've got stuff to do. I have a meeting later as well. And right now I'm watching a YouTube video that is not related to this list. So we'll just keep going. Daily walks. Spend quality time with you and the kids. And so many other things. An extra 780 hours per year would significantly change my energy levels, my health, my ability to work, and earn more money. 
It would change my life. Really, both of our lives. Partner agrees. Yes, it definitely would. So here's what I'm thinking. I would like to hire someone to help around the house. I propose that we start small. For instance, get a personal assistant who can help with laundry, meal prep, and running errands. We could start by hiring someone five hours a week at $20 an hour, which is more than double the current national minimum wage, and several benefits as well. Give bonuses for exceptionally good work. Give paid time off. Give annual raises. Offer a flexible schedule. Treat them well and be the dopest boss who ever lived. Gets more scarcity. When you believe in your ability to make money and your ability to figure out any financial problem that may come your way, the constant financial anxiety... Well, friends, I just completed another task. I moved the tree that I cut from up there and moved it to my pile <laughs> over there, the bane of my partner's existence, but, you know, it's necessary. And... I also trimmed the front, but I just don't like putting the front of my house on the internet, so you'll understand why I didn't film that, but that's also in that pile. Here's Tupi smelling the first rose of the year. <laughs> Cats love roses, and as long as they're grown organically, they are safe for them to sniff and eat and all that. Hi, tubes. It's always fun to cross things off. Whoop. There we go. And here. Nice. I'm also reading and listening to this so I'm gonna give it another check and I actually made another outline on my sub stack and we're continuing to make this video <laughs> it just keeps going hello my friends I did not film anything today I had a very busy day I had a whole bunch of people coming over to do various things like clean my house and install a new microwave and um, set up a sprinkler while well, they're just turning my system on and replacing a part. And then I went out and I got some shoes for running. So I don't have anything to like cross off today, but I did listen more to the Blue Ocean Shift and that's it. But the cool thing is when my sprinkler guy was here, I was going to have him like redo a zone for me, turn it from a sprinkler head to a drip line so that I could run drip to a new area that I'm making. And he said that he could remove the sod for me. And so um, I'm not going to cross it off yet, but that would be a huge savings for me time wise because it would take me at least an entire day. Like, Probably like eight hours of work, which I never work eight hours in a day. So that would be incredible. And that is also where I'm going to plant my zinnias. And so until the sod is removed, there's really no point for me to make the arch or to plant the zinnias. So I still feel really good. You know, I didn't get to sewing today. And for the first time this week, I wanted to. But then I sort of like, I got home, I got cozy on the couch, I was playing with my cats. As you can see, I'm tired. And then by the time I made dinner and ate dinner, it was like 9.30 and I just didn't really feel like beginning that project. So, I didn't, because I only do what I want to do and things work out for me. And you know I don't say that in a weird way, right? Like, I want you to know that's how it works. Like, there's power in only doing what you love. There's power in choosing the thing that feels best to you in the moment because that is where your energy is lined up. That means most of the task is already done. That is awesome. Productive, <laughs> intuitive. I love it. It's incredible. I love this way of living. All right, let's check another thing off the list. 
Read Blue Ocean Shift. We did it! Yay! Hello, friends. All right, we have five hours until I have to pick up my partner from the airport. We have many things left to go, and I have to do some homework. Remove sod, uh, we're gonna put that off the list for now because that my sprinkler person might be doing that for me. Make arch kind of the same thing. There's nowhere for it to go yet. So we did more than half the list if we're taking those things off. Write my sub stack, fun social media, making video right now. Quilting is the only thing that I can do that I haven't started or like dabbled in. So that, you know, I hope this, man, what a jumble of words I am saying. You get what I mean. Um, but I also, like I said, I have to do two of my discussion posts tonight because they're due on Thursday. But five hours is kind of a lot. Like, we could do the whole thing minus the arch and the sod. So, should we just try to go for it? I'm like, you guys know I have Invisalign. For some reason, the way the trays are now, it's like so, I'm so like spittily and it's so gross. But I also, I got my shoes. I didn't tell you about my shoes, but I ordered some shoes last week and they're amazing and I love them, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So I'm gonna show you my shoes. And we might have to send them back. I'm so mad. I'm not mad actually. I'm, I'm okay with it. They're very expensive. So if they're not perfect, I should not keep them. <laughs> so you help me decide. I'm gonna put them on. All right, yes, I have socks on. But, like, they're just so wide looking. Why are they so, like, why are they so big? Why are they so weird on the inside? All right, without socks, um, they don't really look much better. Like, they're just, like, see how much room there is there? And I can't really go... I could probably go a half size down, but I'm already like at the top, you know, like there's not a lot of extra room. I guess let's go where there's more light. They're just, they're like just too big looking, like this fat, like it's not gonna get any smaller. Even, like, I can't size down. Look at how close my heels are to the back. I'm just bummed because they're so beautiful. They're my colors, they're green. The green and lavender. And look at the inside here. Oh my God, my absolute favorite color. But they're just oddly shaped. They're also pretty heavy. They're kind of uncomfortable to walk in. And you see this kind of shoe and you think, hey, that's going to be comfortable. There's also a really pokey part underneath here. I'd have to like file it down. Oh, I can't keep them. <laughs> I can't keep them, but they're so pretty. But I would never wear them because they're uncomfortable. And like this kind of a shoe is like the ugly, pretty kind of shoe. Like you need it to be comfortable. What is the point in having this if it's not comfortable? <sighs> but they are very pretty. They're very pretty, but you know, 
Oh, well. But, yeah, they're just not, they're not great. They're not what I thought they were going to be. Very, very heavy, too. So, all right. I will cry my tears and return my shoes and get a whole lot of money back. <laughs> I'm back. And it's been two and a half hours since we last talked. And I said, yeah, let's do it all. <laughs> well, no, we're not going to do it all. I sort of immediately felt like, eh, no. So I completed one of my homework assignments that's due today. I ate dinner. I relaxed a little bit. And I just don't like rushing. So even though I did feel an initial excitement, the excitement was really about like, oh, it would be fun if I got to cross everything off. But I don't really want to spend my time like that. So. What we are going to cross off, though, is this video because we are done with the video. I'm really excited about that. The key to doing things intuitively is that some things will take a lot less time. When you are leveraging the energy of your higher self, you're stepping into a situation that's already been lined up for you energetically. So Yes, that's true for the rest of the list. I could have gone out and accomplished all these things in lickety split time, but I just didn't want to. So I love that I have a choice, right? I have a choice of doing the things I want to do in less time than it would take normal person because I've aligned. But I also like the choice to know that I don't have to accomplish things just to accomplish them. And I actually don't get most of my enjoyment from checking it off, right? I get the enjoyment from doing the thing. So I want to spend more time planting and quilting and maybe I will even do it tonight. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to sign off and say happy living intuitively, happy living aligned, and I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Bye. Okay, friends, I did return those shoes, those sandals, because they were more uncomfortable than I would ever want to be. But then I was looking around on the website, and I saw they had a sneaker version, like a Converse-style shoe. And I love my chucks. I wear my chucks all the time. And so it is in this box that I just signed for and I can't wait to open it, but apparently my cat is like, no, they're mine. Oh my God, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty. Oh my God, they're so sparkly. Okay, I gotta try them on. They are stunning as usual. And, oh my gosh, look at the color of like the purple and the color of the purple. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna wear them around the house for a minute and like see, also purple, see what I think. They're pretty. All right, ending this video, I just had to show you that the day I'm finished editing the video, the new ones came. How synchronistic is that? <laughs> Thank you.